guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Titlar and we are back in Pro Cycling Manager 24 with episode number 50, the last one of this week, where we are going to start season number 5 here with Titlar Pierre, of course. And we are going to focus a lot now on trying to get our main objectives. That's the main thing, getting the Paris Hobe the Lies Basson Liege and Il Lombardia, the three main objectives that we are we propose to do in the beginning of our career, trying to become world ch uh, French champion, that's a bonus objective, and try to get another jersey, a mountain jersey, either for the Tour de France or for La Vuelta de España, and for that we have to focus a lot on climbing and climbing for that mountain jersey, and especially for Il Lombardia. So. Having that said, let's reply to our trainer. Let's start with the lowest possible preparation and tiredness. And let's take a peek at our calendar. Why not? Starting with the tour down under, I'm not going to do that tour. Nor this one, but I'm not going to take it off from our calendar. Because I want to get the climbing as high as possible. Probably we are going to start our season here on the E3 Saxo, uh, Saxo Classic and then the Gent Velvagen in Flandres and then we are going to Paris Roubaix, Flèche Vallon, Liège Baston Liège. We are due to do the Giro, the Giro I don't want to do, so I'm going to take off the Giro. That's a given. Yes, I want to take that off. Then, to the France, okay, the to the France we can do. I'm not going to do the Criterio du Dauphiné, that's for sure. Nor this, but I'm going to do the French National Championships. And the to the France, I'm not going to do this. And then La Vuelta. I don't know if I'm going into La Vuelta, to be honest. We'll keep it on the cards. We've got Il Lombardia, the rest we can keep it. Okay, so, we still got a lot of points available for us. We are in, in a new team, so I'm going to take a peek at that. Two down under, I'm going to remove it, for sure. And then I'm going to un align my calendar a little bit more once I can do the training, which is going to be on the next day. So, team-wise, we are in a new team, and yeah, Vauclin is the best rider. Okay, I don't remember the name of my team, to be honest. Arkea, I think it's Arkea, yeah, it's Arkea. Vauclin is our main leader of the team. Brennan, Parent Patre, Carafoli, Steinhauser, Mozatto, Chapoissin, Verche, Jarni, Thomas Silva, Donovan Grodin, Michel Ries, David Decker, Chris Nylans, Birmans, Roland, Huiz, Chalone, Le Danois, Cerny, Verbrugge, Alacht. Okay, and we've got some more guys, but probably they are only workforce. Yeah, probably they are. I don't recognize any of those names. So in terms of attributes, do we know? Oh, we do know a lot about these guys. And Vauclin, yeah, he's a beast. But he's very similar to us in terms of downhill and Bardeu. He's so bad on heels? No, he can't be. Yeah, it can't be. This is not correct at all. These attributes is not correct at all. Vauclin is very good on heels. Even better than us. Okay, so we have a good team. And especially a big French contingent in our team. So that could help us a lot on the French National Championship. So let's advance one day to set our preparation. Indeed, so here we are. We can delete this message, I know. 
training wise let's put some objectives finally for the first time buddy hobby where is buddy hobby here it is and then we've got Elias Baston Elias there okay so I'm going to put main target here for the party hobby till the Elias Baston Elias then I'm going to rest two weeks and to the France I'm not going to do that but I'm going to put a main objective again on in Lombardia which is here exactly so probably we are not going to race La Vuelta. Yeah, I'm not going to race La Vuelta, that's for sure. To rest weeks there. Okay, pretty cool. So let's set our weekly training and focus a lot on climbing. So, second week. Let's put the climbing which is this one right indeed let's put it on the template and let's copy it for this and for the following weeks like so okay almost 100% here before we start the paninis So, I'm not going to race any of those, and I'm going to start immediately with the, pretty much the, um, the classics, the spring classics. So, let's put this, uh, this, and this, and we've got 100%, excellent. Then let's keep the 100% and let's focus... Not on Barreda, but not on the um, Northern Classics, but probably on Barreda. That will give us a lot of... Or maybe... Maybe Puncher. I honestly don't know. In order to win the Lies Baston Liage, we, not, we need to climb, man. Not sprint, not any of that. We need to climb, essentially. So, I'm going to put on Puncher. So that's going to be our main focus, puncher, after the, the climbing, of course. Then let me put here two climbings, just to ensure that we are not losing too much, despite the fact that we are. And again, be happy. And again, we have to work a lot on climbing. Climbing, climbing, and climbing. Okay, now, what can I take this? Okay, so like this, this, and this. And the next week will be only one climbing and set a lot of punchers, stats, punching stats. So copy to this week and the following ones. Okay, now in the middle of the Tour de France we are still trying to improve that and we did. Excellent job. Okay. So, let's consider now... I don't know, Barreda, probably. Probably Barreda. Then we've got two rest weeks. Then I'm going to be happy. Be happy. And then focus a lot on climbing again. Still trying not to lose too much on the puncher. puncher mode of course then we are in La Vuelta and we can get this to 100% and 
And then after that, it's this for sure. Let's see, when can I take that off? Probably never. Yeah, probably never. And here we have to focus on climbing. Puncher we can neglect on this week. Then on this one we cannot. Okay. And okay. And here we cannot train. Here we have to be happy. Okay, so I think that's it in terms of general preparation. If I do return here to take a peek when we are en at 100%, it's going to be at the, s at the end of the Parinis. So yeah, not going to raise anything of this. Nevertheless, we'll get... Two month turns, meaning 130 points, putting us almost on the verge of getting a level up. So probably I'm going to race the Parinis. Having that said, Parinis start at the beginning of March. Try to get that level up at the end of Parinis, 130 points. So we need to do a brilliant Parinis in order to do that. Yeah. So I'm pretty confident that we can do that. So I'm going to race the Parinis. So it's going to be the start of this episode. It's going to be um, the Parinis. The start? No, not the start. But the main focus of this episode will be Parinis. And it's a big, big tour. So I will have to divide this in several episodes. We've got three one-day races. Then another three. So if I divide this to four... For here, meaning, well, what happened? Why don't I have? Oh, sorry. So it's four there, right? No, three here, and another three in here. So the Parinis is. Eight stages, so I can divide this into episodes, four stages each. So I need to register some other classic. Strade Bianca is a good shout, but it's just before the Parinis to try to defend our title, but I'm not going to. I want after Parinis. Milano Sanremo, yeah. We've already won Milano Sanremo, but we can race it nevertheless. Okay, so we are set to go. We'll have four when they races after the Paninis. Then we've got three here, so let me try to register some other one. Another world tour, if possible. Flash fall on. This one is a world tour, so I will register this one as well. Okay. So I'm pretty happy with this calendar, and yeah, I'm now going to simulate a lot of days, and I'll be back for the Parinis first stage, where we are going to race the four, the first four races, and Monday we are going to finish this Parinis. The first one, I'm going to bring you the final kilometers just before we reach this Côte de Herbeville. Then the second one, it's flat, I'm going to bring you the final kilometers. The third one, it's a time trial, which I will, we will follow Pierre on it. And the fourth one, I'm going to bring you the full race. Yeah, that's the plan. So, now I'm going to do a cut here while I'll simulate these days until Parinis, which is two months. So, I'll take a, a cut here and I'll be back for the Parinis first stage race preview. Here we are in the Parinis first stage race preview, 158 kilometers of hilly terrain, but as planned, as predicted, we've got 130 points exactly, and then let's hope we don't get a level up 
here in this Parinis because we are still working our climbing should be very close to 100% but it's still 97 on the next week it's going to be 100% so let's hope we get that improvement on the next week we are in the final stint of this week so I think we should be safe I don't think we are going to get 170 points on one stage so let's get it to it immediately and let's take a look We've got Mathieu Brennan, Chapoussin, Grodin, Jarnet, Parent-Patre, and Louis Roland. Are we among the favorites for this stage? <laughs> yes, yes we are. We are the favorite, in fact. So I'm expecting our team to work for us. At least that's a hope. We've got 92% fitness, all doing great as we are entering in the second stage, the first week of preparation in order to achieve the target A, which will be the Lies Baston Liege and the Paris Hobby, of course, or on the other order, Paris Hobby first and then Lies, Lies Baston Liege. But now let's focus on the four upcoming stages that we've got ahead here on the Paris Nice. Starting with this first one, I'm going to do a cut and I'll be back for the final kilometers just before we reach this Cote de Herbeville. Final 20 kilometers of this stage number one and I could fight for the this intermediate sprint but I'm pace. not going to, I'm going to reserve Elite here, Elite Pierre to try to win the stage since we are the favorites. So we've got two, four, six guys with us. Six guys with us meaning we are going to start our sprint rate at 15 kilometer to the line. So at 17 I'm going to bring you to give uh, Roland or Chapeau-Saint the gel. Now the question is to who I should give the gel. Putting everybody on 99. Uh, I think it's going to be for Roland who has been my water boy the entire day. You guys are trying to go. The riders are in that's a because of, of the intermediate sprint. Yeah, that's the sprinters, Peñoed, Milan. The pack is not worried about them because they know they can catch them quite the finish easily. Line is close. The riders have just passed the 15 kilometers road sign. Okay, 15 kilometers. Give the gel to Chapoussin now. So, Pierre to Brennan. Brennan to Crodin. Jarny. Parampatre. Chapoussin. And finally, Roland with. The super leader going 99. There's a sustained rhythm those. at the moment. Some riders Sprinters. definitely won't be able to keep up. Okay, we are in the climb, so let's drop to 95. Or else we are going to destroy everybody. We are already destroying a lot of guys. So Roland is good on the hills, I see. Uh, Patre, I should have given him the gel already. Okay, you are done. So let's use Chapoissin at 95. You can drop. Eleven kilometers. Let's give Jarnet the gel. Let's keep going with Chapoissin a little bit longer. Let's put him on 99 and try to recover some red there bar on our boys left. not recovering a lot I see so let's change this 9 kilometers gel to you come on man recover our red bar we need that red bar we need that red bar man Okay, you guys are going. Attack so by Niels Pollitt. We have to increase tempo now with Crodin. Not allowing anybody to go. Seven kilometers. Yeah, no gel for anyone. Six kilometers gel to Brennan. Let's keep going like this. We are recovering red bar, that's nice. Pierre is full of red bars, so Parent Patre, let's go 99. 
but I uh, can fall back to my will directly because we know he's a good sprinter. Well, kind of a good sprinter. So five kilometers. Let's give this to Pierre. Let's keep going. Go 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 go. Parent Pach doing excellent job here. So Pierre, let's use this to not get blocked. Parent Pach keep going 99 like a boss. So sprint. Jarne sprint as well. Attack by Aramburu. Now Brennan sprint. Man Brennan, pull us ahead. Phenomenal. Phenomenal pull by Brennan. Groda is keeping in the will of Pierre as expected. And Pierre is going to do the final meter, so it's P1 for Pierre, you Grodin P2, like and Brennan P3. So we've the got the today. most amount of points and all the bonus seconds here. What a phenomenal first stage, man. With the first three top positions, what a phenomenal first stage indeed. What a control of those guys that try to break away. And what a usage of energy and recovery on the red bar to allow us to do this phenomenal ending good stuff so of course general wise Pierre is leading the charge points Pierre is leading the charge mountain Chapuisson with three points but Christofferson with eight points there young riders of course it's Pierre leading the charge Brennan is still a young rider Ooh, very young okay and team wise we are leading the charge as well so good good stuff 27 points okay putting us over the halfway point to the next level up level 31 that will give improvement of attributes or evolution of potential and we are now on 100 percent on this week so that's great we can finally level up this is very flat 180 kilometers rounding up and Brennan is one of the favorites, but we are alongside him, so let's hope he's going to work for us. We've got Jonathan Milan here and Peñouet, so it's going to be tough for us, but nevertheless, let's see what we can do. For now, I'm going to do a cut here in the loading, and I'll see you guys in the final 20 kilometers to the line. Final 20 kilometers of this stage number two. Unfortunately, Brennan has the free roll. Uh job there so we don't stand the chance of getting him to work for us and I think I was very very eager to do it to do that 15 kilometer sprint I think with the five men that remains here to work for us for the 11 kilometers is the best the course of action so let's speed this to 13 kilometers as we are Flat tire. doing. It always happens at the wrong moment. Okay, 13 kilometers. Let's put everybody in the front at 99. And the gel is going to. Good question, isn't it? Hola. Hola with the gel. Ten kilometers remaining. No, eleven kilometer mark. Rodin. I think it's Jarni. I think so. Then Chapoussin. No, Chapoussin first. Then Jarni. And then Parent Patre. And finally Roland. So Parent Patre with the gel. Roland with the super leader going full out. this left side of the road the pack is slowly whittling away the lead nine kilometers gel to Jarny okay Roland is done so let's use Baron Patre I think we are honestly we are starting our Sprint tra trains a uh, lot sooner than I would like to. Please allow Chapusan to come in. 
falling behind. A team leader is falling behind. Seven kilometers gel to Chapuisa. We are getting blue locked with Pat and Pat a lot. Five kilometers to the finish line. Okay. Now we have to use Jarni. Ninety-nine. Pat and Pat can drop. Six kilometers gel to Crodin. Can we go to the left side of the road? Thank you. Okay, five kilometers gel to Pierre. I forgot the gel, attacking. to be honest. Let's even do this and do this. And Jarni, keep going, keep going, keep insisting. Keep trying to get a good lead out. So, Chapoisin sprint. Don't block Croda. Don't block Croda. Croda is getting blocked, so let's sprint with Croda. Now Croda is pulling us ahead. We are not catching the breakaway the even. Is being cut back. Let's sprint the final 900 meters with Pierre. We are not oh, catching the breakaway. Right down to the wire. Wow, he handled okay, so well. we are going to lose the lead to Mechela. But we did very good here with the pack. We ended up in eighth, so we were second on the bunch sprint. We're waiting for the back getting markers, some points, nevertheless, three points, in, in fact. Race. But the fact that we didn't catch the breakaway was awful, to be honest. The other teams could not control the breakaway. So, we lost the lead, of course. 47 seconds. Oh, Penyawet was the first one. Never mind, Penyawet was the first one of this pack. Okay, so general wise, oh, we are still ahead, surprisingly enough. We are still leading this Parinis. Points wise, we are still leading as well. Mountain, no mountain points for us. Still leading the young riders. And team, we dropped to 10th, but with the same time as, but I'm victorious, the, our former team. Okay. So, 15 points, another 15 points, great. Let's keep going, and now... Comes the time trial, if I'm not mistaken. And with the time trial comes our... Best opportunity to win this. But, well, in the... In Monday's episode we'll get the hardest stages, the mountainous one, so... Yeah, 25 kilometers. We are surely not... Oh, this is a team time trial, so I don't know how to do that. So I'll simulate. And let's see how bad we are going to do. We are not in the favorites page, so... We are going to lose a lot of time, aren't we? Yep. 1 minute and 54 lost. God damn it. One of the worst teams. So general-wise, we drop now a lot. To be... 44 points we are still leading mountain still no mountain points young riders we drop to 10 and team wise we drop to 10 as well well we got one place but now the teams are separated by some gaps so that's normal now okay so final stage and one that i'll bring you the full race is coming up final stage of today's episode of course right at uh, the halfway point of this Paris-Nice and the first major difficult stage here but we should be among the favorites because I think it's a median mountain or hilly it's not mountain for sure yeah it's medium mountain 169 kilometers if we survive this Col du Foot d'Avenes d'Avenes we have a very good shot to win this, despite the fact that we are not among the favorites. But nevertheless, let's see what we can do. For now, I'm going to do a cut here in the loading, and I'll see you guys in the full race. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. And well, here we are, final race of today's episode, at the halfway point of this. But in this, we've got a zero, meaning we still got some bonus on our climbing ability, which is great to deal with. This first climb, the call the Foot da Venus, and the last one, the Mont Broly. 
very short one 2.7 kilometers we can do that very fast it's a punchy one but we've got a hilly terrain man to say the least all the way to that Mont Broly so let's see who's good on the hills you've got 78 today you are good as well and you are very good on sprint but you are not as good as Jarnet 76 you are 78 77 so pretty much is going to be like this 70 and I don't know you so I'm going to put this guy protecting me and Rola to be my water boy Rola has been been my water boy the, the full the three stages that we've raced so far so by Georg Timmerman. he's going to keep with that role so let's speed this let's let the breakaway form despite he the still the being the leader here on the Spartanese I'm not going to send my team to do anything six men on the breakaway let's check them out Zimmerman, Kamna, Champion Rendrick, Alter and Corvizier very very important breakaway there man with Kamna and Sh Champion very dangerous guys and Zimmerman as well very dangerous guys for allowing into the breakaway a hilly breakaway or medium mountain breakaway but nevertheless let's hope Ayuso's team can do something here as we are climbing for the first time today the Côte de Mont Saint Vincent done next one is going to be the Col de Bourbon and let's use this to help us a little bit until we reach the Col de Bourbon where we are arriving now so let's put Pierre on 65 to help us to help him a little bit on this Col de Bourbon and let's keep it on 65 for the time being oh man this is being raced too damn hard but I do hope Pierre survives this and he's doing it pretty efficiently let's say that the okay, let's is use not this to everybody's liking. The has to get significantly back increased up front speed. before the next climb which we failed but here we are in the next one let's hope we can survive this let's send Roland to fetch another bottle of water in the meantime since we are climbing we did manage to survive good so heading for that second category which is the Côte de Vaux-Renard and we are in the front excellent job Our excellent rider has job a indeed let's hope yes, he is yes, yes. quickly so now let's up Pierre's speed to 75 and even use the aerodynamic posi position. Buitrago, our former teammate, was caught in the fall. By Georg Zimmerman. Zimmerman is attacking with Kamna. Let's drop this to 65 once more. This been, has been raced too damn hard. Let's return to the 75 mark. Should be more it than enough like to deal with this. Another big, big fall with the Gernalek there. Gernish okay as well. Uh -oh, the pack and let's keep at 75 and now until we Some reach the Col de Rubis. This Col de Rubis will be very, very hard to deal with. The first proper challenge. Another big fall there. Humans with Barbie and, and Baroncini. Okay, good. Really Let's hot. So up for the, the tempo to 85 now attacks. with Pierre. Should be good on it. But then Patry is doing better than Jarnet, man. Okay, that's interesting. So let me switch them around. It 
It's in such percentages that the yes, strongest yes, yes. can create some gaps. Final kilometer, let's Simmerman drop this to 75. The As we are reaching the end of this Col de Dourbiz. And we can even drop to 65 pretty much. And we can use the sneaking ability to return up front. Excellent. As we are heading to the Mont Broly for the first time. Okay, we are going to climb the Mont Broly two times. Okay. So keep going, keep going. Okay. So now I want to send all my folks to the head of the pack. Going at 85. Keeping Grodin to protect us. A rider has just Let's suffered a puncture. This to 75. I'm not going to use the aerodynamic skill now. There's almost no flat terrain here. And yeah, as expected, we are having some issues grabbing the breakaway. Despite the breakaway being about to be disintegrated. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's grab Rorona and let's fetch water with him. Great stuff. Keep enduring this. Mont Broly is very hard as we are seeing. Very, very tough. Very, very tough to do. Okay, but we survived, so let's drop again to 65. This downhill will allow the riders to recover from their earlier efforts. Three minutes to the breakaway. It's going to be tough to reach those guys, if at all possible. Let's put Pierre at 75. Should be able to survive this, or maybe not. They are racing this too damn hard. Even at 75 we almost got dropped. Oh boy. Okay, this was tough. This was tough indeed. Okay, let's return to the front. Even at 65. I think we can do this. Now let's increase again to 85. Good. Roland will be gone soon. Roda as well. Gel, gel. Meaning Brennan will be my protector and let's give him the gel. You can do whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. Good. And the guys are working very, very, very hard to try to get that breakaway. Now it's Ben Healy on this Col de Foot da Venus. Very, very tough climb to do. There's a breakaway in the leading group. This group is losing members left, right, and center. Even for Prost. Oh boy. And even Pierre is having some issues. Should I accelerate? Yeah, we have to. I have to accelerate. Chapeau Saint, let's give him the gel. And let's put him on my protection duty. Okay, let's drop this to 86 now. 85. Oh boy. Oh boy. That was tough. That was very, very tough. Acceleration by Gal. Felix Gal is trying something. A lot of guys are trying, meaning I have to do a sprint train of sorts, starting with Jarni. Chapusan can drop into my wheel and hopefully is still going to be of any use. Good Jarni, good. Now we have a big downhill. Good, good, good. Let's bring water with Chapusan. Whew, that was tough, man. Okay, so... Jarni. Let's put Pierre again on 65 now. With Parent Patre in my wheel and Jarni 
protecting me. Come on, Jahane, protect me. Thank you. Okay, good. Watch out! A team Carlos Rodriguez is line. working. Which is great for us. Now he isn't. Chaposa is back. Excellent job. The finish line is getting close. The riders have just passed the 15 kilometers road sign. Excellent job indeed. Come on, Chaposin. Bring water to everybody. Chaposin has done it. So let's work at 85 on the front. I'm going to use now the aerodynamic skill with Pierre. Since I don't the think we can the no longer try to recover some energy. We are, well, we are we still go. recovering He's energy. One last go. But not for long. We are going to start climbing now. Yep. So, Parenpatre, Charny, Chapoussin. Let's give Chapoussin the gel and let's give him the super leader ability. Let's even go 90 with Chapoussin. Those three men are completely gone, to be honest. Who are those three men? Kamne, Champion, and so the original breakaway are still ahead. Six kilometers. I should have given the gel a little bit sooner. But let's go. The riders are entering the last five kilometers of the stage. So five kilometers gel to Parenpatre. And Chapusan can go 95 now. Four kilometers gel to Pierre. Chapusan keep working very hard. Let's even go 99. Use all this energy. Good. Pierre can use this to allow us to not get blocked. Jarny, let's go at 95. And we should be fast enough to catch those guys, indeed. This climb features no some more breakaway. Great job. Great job by Jarny. Still a phenomenal job by Jarny. Now we have to use Parenpatre at 90. Use the remaining of his energy. Jarny can pull to the side. Well, Parenpatre is now working. Jarny, please fall back, man. I don't want you to engage in this dumb shit. So let's sprint with Pierre. Pierre sprinted but not enough. I think he's going to end up on second or something. Which is not too bad. So the win is A to Pingazoli. Simon Yates with the second and Pierre with that third spot. Not bad man. The manager wanted us a top five. No, no real manager wishes after all, but that was fantastic, man. That was a phenomenal race, only 19 men here, ending with the same, with the same time. So I think this was a phenomenal stage for Pierre, to be honest. Look at the company that Pierre had here, Pingazoli, Yates, Juan Ayuso, Carlos Rodriguez, all mountainous guys, all GC guys. So this was a phenomenal climb by Pierre. Of course, assisted by a great job by Jarny and Parenpatre. Yeah, those first 19 men with all the, with the same time. So general wise, now we are in P14. Still 1 minute and 40 behind. 
points we are leading the charge mountain we should have got some mountain points here yeah only two <laughs> exactly and young riders we are fourth okay team wise we are first that's curious okay so we got nine spots so another 21 points brilliant so Monday Monday's episode we are going to end this Paris so the final four stages and pretty sure it's going to be the dead of us starting with a flat one but hard 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 until we reach the flat stage this one I'll bring you the final kilometers then six one hoo, 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 not easy at all I'm going to bring you the final kilometers as well but before we reach this Côte de la Col sur loop and finally the following two are very hard Nice to La Madone Dutel I'm going to bring you the full race and the same for the eighth stage I'm going to bring you the full race Pierre has a shot to try to do something here at least we'll see for now I'm going to do a cut here not going to do a cut no I'm going to end the episode so this is it for today's episode I hope you enjoyed it if you did drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell and leave me some comments down below thanks so much for watching my name is Titlar I hope you have a phenomenal weekend and I hope to see you Monday for the end of this Paris in season number five with Titlar Pierre my name is Titlar thanks so much for watching bye bye and take care.